Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mug and Play. I'm Nick, and today we're playing a game called Symmetry. And so far everything's symmetrical, so so far so good. We'll press the any key. I'm going to press the space bar because it's dead center. Perfect. Perfect symmetry. I don't know what to expect from this game. I love symmetry. Okay. I mean, it's good that you love symmetry. I love games that don't choke on... I'm not sure exactly why, but I've loved it since I was a kid. Our children are messy and forgetful of their things. Not me. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's good. I you want to be everything had its place, and in my room, everything was right where it belonged. Okay, well, good. I mean, everything is. Everyone my likes to have a clean space. Didn't have it. My grandparents didn't have it either. Okay, well. Not a single person in my family had it. Well, I started everyone's different. Referring to it as it because I truly believe it's a thing inside me. Okay, well, there's a it's thing inside you. Inside. Longing to be perfect, perfect on both sides. Well, good. I mean, you know, you want to, you want things to be nice and symmetrical. You know, symmetry is not a bad thing. I like this song. It's pretty. All right. Well, I, I'm assuming this is a horror game. Well, well only time will tell. All right, we have to fix the environment. Okay, well, good. We fixed that. As an adult, I'm at a point where I can't live my life normally. I can't keep a job. Oh. And don't stay with me because they can't handle it. Well, then they don't. They're... Honestly, I don't even care when they leave. They're messy and make things difficult. Yeah. There they you go. Them to my side and be bad instead of staying on their own. Yeah. They leave dishes in one side of the sink, but not the other. There we go. I can't work Just... anymore, so when they leave for the day, I have to stay home and fix everything. That's okay, though. You gotta just you gotta make everything look right. It's a relief when they leave for good. Oh. That feeling never lasts, though. Eventually, it comes back and finds something else that needs fixing. You may be asking, why should I seek out relationships to begin with if I can't stand them? Well, I don't know. I mean, well, it's hard everyone for likes me to companionship. In the middle of the bed or not without moving. There we go. We're just making everything all nice, and we're just and we're flip flamping and we're oh, <laughs> we're just and let's fix some of these books. Okay, good. There we go, and we got to fix this book over here. See, it's okay that, to have everything be in its place, I mean, but if you're concerned that things might not be, you know, might be too much to handle, then, you know, you talk to a, talk to a, a professional. I don't know what this is. Is it a, is it a radio? Can we turn on the radio? Well then, that's not a, oh, we're a lady. We're a nice lady. Let's fix this mirror. There we go. See? Look how nice we look. We got heterochromia. That's cool. And, you know, it's probably why we're studying about eyes. It's good. See? In this chair. We'll fix this chair. Can we fix this chair? Good. We're fixing the chair. We're doing... We're doing okay. There we go. Alright. See? Look how clean this place is getting. See, it's not, it's not, it's not so bad. I mean, if it's getting to a point where, like I said, where it's problematic, then, you know, then, yeah, and you can't hold a job, like you said, and that's, and that's no good, but you want to make everything all, all nice and neat, and that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to want everything to be, you know, orderly. You know, I like cleaning. I clean when I'm stressed. I do stress, what it's referred to as stress cleaning. Can we make the bed? No, we can't. Is that in its place? That's in its place. Okay, good. See, doing all right. Well, we fixed this magazine earlier. Is that is that Kit Harrington, Harrington from Game of Thrones? By the way, I wonder. Leave a comment below if you're watching Game of Thrones. 
this season. It's it's really good. Don't leave any spoilers though, because I'll I'll delete those comments. But it's been a pretty intense season so far. We're only four episodes into the last season. There's only three episodes left. Do we need to go outside? No. You sure? So let's fix this chair. There we go. We'll fix this chair. And I think that might be, you know, just about everything, unless unless there's other things. There we go. Got that cup right there. Everything's all nice and symmetrical. There we go. See, we're doing we're doing okay. We're just we're just taking it one step at a time. We're just you know, we might be a little stressed out. I can hear my character kind of breathing a little heavily, but that's okay though. This place is very ultra modern, like we're living in the not too distant future. So we got that. There we go. Fix that lamp. There we go, and fix that lamp. Other than the relationship problem, my life is pretty much in order. You know? I say pretty much because there's one last issue that must be dealt with. Do we... Do we miss something? Approach the mirror. Okay. You see, I have what's called heterochromia iridium. Yeah, you got Two the... different colors, irises. It's super cool. It's a... It's a very rare thing that people have. You should be happy about it. Right eye has cornflower blue. Mm -hmm. My left pale green. Yeah. Both my parents have cornflower blue eyes. My siblings and cousins as well. Mm -hmm. My green eye is the broken one. I think it's it cool looking. Me unbalanced. I wouldn't sweat it. I think I think it looks good. Um. I don't like how I'm looking away, yet, yet at the same time my character in the mirror is not breaking eye contact. Go to bed. Well, alright, if you insist, you can go to bed. It's been a long day of cleaning, so we've, we've had ourselves a good old time. And in case anyone's wondering, I'm just trying to be optimistic because I'm sure something scary is probably going to happen. There we go. Go to bed. Take a nap. Sleep it off, kiddo. You've 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 earned some rest because you you cleaned up the whole place all by yourself, and that's, that's something to be proud of. I've been cleaning and decluttering up my life too because I've been learning lately that uh, possessions don't make me happy. My friends and family and Stephanie they all make me happy. You know, well, let's let's approach the mirror. Got to make sure. You know, you're talking about your eyes. You got all these books about eyes. So, oh boy, something tells me that something bad is gonna happen. Looking in the mirror, I'm a pretty time, lady. I look at it's not so bad. It stares right back at me. It's okay. So I think about now. Everything is in its right place except my green little mistake. Honestly, I think the green eye is the cooler of the two. Take spoon. Are, are we getting cereal? Here we go. Got a spoon. Approach the mirror. Are we gonna... Our character seems a little nervous. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Fix I? No. No, you don't need to fix it. It's totally fine the way it is. You don't gotta... Uh, Q? Okay. Q for quit it. E for end what you're doing. Space, as in you gotta give yourself some space. Space. Oh. Ooh. It hurt at first when I dug the spoon under my eye. Ah. It even hurt when he popped out and 
was hanging by my cheek. Was it shock that was keeping the pain away, or was it idiot? I'm going to say shock. I'm going to say it was shock that was doing that. God, this game feels like it's playing out in slow motion. It's, I'm guessing the frame rate's not that great, and I apologize for that, but... Oh, take the scissors. Uh, are we gonna snip it? I don't wanna snip it. I wanna fix eye. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, why? Why are we doing this? Uh. Now we. But now we're st we're still not symmetrical. I snipped the optic nerve and blotted the warm fluids that were streaming down my face. My vision being cut in half was a strange sensation. But you're still I asymmetrical. The dangling flesh. I placed back in the now empty hole. I rested in this room and went to sleep. Something tells me that with all that blood loss, you're gonna. You're probably not gonna wake up. But you know what? At this point, a nap may do you good, or it may kill you. Either way. Oh, this is easily the cringiest game I have played in a long fucking time, just because. Oh, God, I got friggin' chills and goosebumps. That was. Are we gonna. I Where are I touch now? Happy. I slept better than I had in years. Good. It's finally done. Uh huh. I was fixed. Oh, I, I see. I got out of my bed. My body ached and my head was on fire. The light was blinding. Probably and due to the lack of an eye and blood. My stomach turned. Well, let's look in the mirror. Oh my. There's the spoon. You said we rinsed the spoon and put it away, but it's clearly still there. Huh. Pretty as a picture. You got a little... You've got... You've got red on you. Only then had I realized what I'd done to myself. And oh, I only now? Believe it. I can there believe it. There was a the left side of my face. But not the right. No. I was about to. No. Didn't you think about this before you gouged your eye out? Take a spoon and scissors. Oh boy. Come on. All right. We may as well just get this over with. Got the spoon. Got the scissors. Let's just. Get this over with and wrap up this episode, and you can be nice, nice blind girl. Fix it. All right, we're gonna use the spoon and the scissors and fashion ourselves an eye patch, right? Right? <laughs> Something tells me she didn't make an eye patch. Much harder digging out the second eye. Oh, you think? My hands were shaking, but when I dug the spoon in, I was several times punctured. Probably the lack of depth perception. Right place. Mm. Once the eye popped out, I reached for my scissors to finish the job. How could you see them? The blood from the previous night had dried on the blinds, so the scissors didn't cut. Mm. you happy, but for real. You know what, if you're feeling this way, you should consult a professional. Uh, new teacher, man, you cut construction 
paper for our project? Yes, it was a lot more you fun than this. You tried to cut too many pieces at once. But the scissors couldn't take it. Yeah. That's what happened with my eye. Gross. The optic nerve was bent between the two eyes. Ah. It was stuck. And as I tried desperately and frantically, I lost it. What happened next? Dare I ask? Again. <laughs> you don't sound like you're having fun, lady. Again, 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 again. I slipped on the blood and started falling to the floor. Ow. Reflexes kicked in, and I let go of my eye to try and break my fall with my hand. Uh. The weight of these stuck scissors in my hanging eye was unbearable. I, I knew I couldn't stand it long quick enough to make it to the kitchen to get a knife, so I pulled. This is easily uh, the cringiest game we have played in a long time. And I apologize for the screamish, but holy shit. You guys, mental illness is real. And I felt the flesh tear from inside my skull. If you're feeling I anything felt close to this, liquids everywhere. consult a professional. I knew I was crying, but there was no doubting the tears from the blood or the ocular fluid. Gross. When I heard the wet slap of bloody flesh against the tile floor, I knew I was done. Ah. I knew it. I don't think that's gonna solve your problem. My life now without having to see people's awful, messy, uneven lives. I uh, the relief washed over me, and I knew it would last this time. Are you sure? I have never felt this way before. Never had this much hope. As I laid in that cold, wet, sticky tile, I smiled for the first time in years. Oh, huh. well. Here we go, with the happy music. At least it ends on a pretty song. Ugh, oh, holy shit, I am gripping my chair like white knuckle. Oh my god, that is... Ugh. Based on a story by Always Through. Always Through. Man. Lady. Whomever. Consult a professional. Seriously. Like. I don't like to get on uh, get on people's cases for being like, Oh, if you're feeling sad or depressed or like you can't concentrate or for whatever reason that you should see a doctor, but... See, see a professional if you're feeling anything remotely to this. This is just completely just so messed up. Don't ever like get to this point if you have OCD. You know, I like. I mean, I'm. I would consider myself sometimes a bit of a, a bit of a neat freak, and cleaning makes me feel better. It's therapeutic, but it's never gotten to the point where I want to gouge my eyes out. Even though they don't work very well, and I need glasses, I still. I still like them, and heterochromia is not a, not a bad thing. It's a very cool thing. You should be, you don't, don't sweat it if, if that's, if that's bugging you. And again, talk to a professional. I can't say that enough. I'm saying that because I'm like, whew. It's very rare that a game gets me legitimately like shook. By golly. This one did it. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, be sure to poke that like button right in the, I just realized. Maybe that's not the most appropriate way to say you should hit the like button. You guys that normally watch my videos normally know what I say. Just, if you like this video, just click the like button. I won't use any silly verbiage on that. Leave a comment below if you have any issues with, you know, obsessive compulsive disorder. 
or know somebody who does, we'll have a discussion about it. It'll be productive. And you want to see more videos? Probably not like this one, but if you want to see more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Share this video with a friend, why don't you? And thank you so much for joining me on this white knuckle journey. If your toes were curling and you were gripping your chair, just know that you're in good company, because that was... It was fucked up. But thank you so much. I love you all. And again, if you're having troubles and struggles, talk to a professional. You'll be glad you did. Or just talk to a friend. Talk to somebody. Don't leave it bottled up. Don't let it get to this point. Anyway, I'm rambling. I need to... I'm gonna take a minute. You know what? I think I'm gonna switch it up. I'm, this is my, like, recording night. I think I'm gonna switch it up and... Play some funny games. But thank you so much. I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.